Now, Tafilal, you can go ham on the Castilian troops. Oh, yeah, they're going to Melilla. <laughs> okay, I got a plan here. I'm gonna go see to Melilla as soon as the uh, Tafilal are done with that. So it's uh, gonna block the Castilians quite a bit, but that's not my problem. Oh, hell, according to plan. Exactly. Exactly. I mean, the plan was so cunning that even Baldrick would be proud. We got back to 400 naval materials now, which still isn't all that much, but it's better than nothing. We the 4,000 first army. I don't think we need to quite yet. I mean, they got the siege going on in here, but it's not that quick. And Castilians actually have pretty good fort defense. That's going to take a while. And during that time, I can go ahead and maybe siege down fairs. Because we still got the pretty darn good um, spy network in there. And then, of course, the disloyal realm and all that means that it takes 17 days for siege sick. Whereas for them, it takes um, 27. There's a bit of. 10 day difference in there. Castilians are regrouping in South uh, Sale. Oh man, there is a lot of uh, warlords down here. Just tiptoeing around them is going to be quite difficult. No oh, walls breached. Excellent. Oh, we do need to have 7,000 men to siege down here because the siege mentality is 30% extra. I see. How's their siege going? They've got. Minus 42, we got 7% already. We have a massive difference in the speed of the siege. And of course, we've got some pretty lucky rolls over here. There's no denying that. Oh, defenders deserting now. Excellent. One by one. So, Fez, you don't want to be in this, this war, do you? Not for much longer, I reckon. And if I take... Yeah, that's the peace deal that I had, and I might be able to take that. Of course, not quite yet. We don't have a... Well, actually, technically speaking, we do have Forge already. It's just a level 1 fort. I guess they do count, but it's just... We don't have that much war score yet. Once we take their capital, that's going to be quite a massive blow. And then, of course, we can just... Oh, prisoners are being killed. Oh, no. Oh, there goes another 50 targets, then. They all succeed eventually. At least once we send in an army with the... Oh, yeah, we salute Fez. That's a bit of money. At least paying back some of the cost that we had here. Now I can uh, stack white Fez. Like, I, I don't mind Castile taking anything east of this border here, basically. But I do want to have the coastline kind of secured. We've got 30% war score, 31% right now. If we have a look at the... We don't need that much. If we get a bit of war score from a battle with them, that might already... Flip the scales enough so that we'll be able to take the peace deal. But of course, Castile is going to have a bit of a hard time because they can't get the uh, war goal in their war, but... Oh well. At the same time, they can't lose because they don't have the war goal either. Because the enemy doesn't have it either. So we even got the defensive terrain in here. Oh man, this is going to be... A... Probably pretty good. They... Oh wow, we got actually massively better discipline as well. Is Melilla's claim permanent for Castile? Ooh, that's a good question. It might be. In which case, we might actually want to go just for the Atlantic coast. Yeah, the battle is going quite well. Don't know if it's going to be a stack wipe. No, not quite. Uh, right, so Melilla, is that... No, they got a claim in there. It is going to last for quite a while, but it's not a permanent claim. Do they have claims anywhere else? Or is the Melilla the only one? No, I think it's just Melilla. I, mean, I suppose there is the... This map mode that we could use. Yeah, no, it's just Melilla. They got a lot of claims on Aragon and Navarra and that sort of stuff. So, nothing to worry about. Figure which. Will they take the peace deal now? They would. Can I maybe take a bit of money as well? 
on some industries in our territory. That is a large territory that we just took. And uh, we've got this one. We get 15 armored tradition. I will take that. And then core, a lot of it. But they still got a little bit of troops uh, seizing down there. But this army should probably do a bit of a rebel suppression in North Africa. Just, you know, an idea. Um, is Granada still part of Castile or are they independent now? No, they're still uh, elevated tributary. I could technically. Hmm. I'm going to rival Tunis. And maybe Tlemcen? We have a bit larger army. They have no navy. Oh, right. The inland provinces I can't core yet. Which ones? Yeah, so we did uh, spend quite a lot of manpower overall in that war. And now we're getting a bit of corruption due to the overextension. I could probably... Actually... Can I claim over here? Because I know that that's on one of the places that I do need to take for the next uh, mission. There's that one. And was... Um, this is also a place, isn't it? I need to take so the... So Benny Hosmar. So that's one place that I can't core quite yet. Not entirely sure. Oh! Because it's unplicated core. Okay. So somehow it's a bit longer distance from... Okay. A bit inconvenient, but oh well. Getting some of the cores at least. And there might be some rebellions that we need to squash down here. Oh, looks like Castilians are finally dealing with some of the warlords in here. But yeah, now Tlemcen can't get into Fez. I mean, they can take the eastern half of Fez quite easily, but they can't take the western half of Fez. They're kind of uh, sheltered right now. Of course, Castilians might still be able to take something in here. Maybe. I'm actually not entirely sure. Just some natives. Nothing that Western still can't deal with. A bit, yeah, I suppose. We did take a fair bit of uh, war exhaustion in that war, by the way. It is going down, at least. Also, how is our... Oh, Castilla wants military access. Sure. So, tradition is 67.5. Ooh. Oh, that's not bad. And how much are we getting professionalism per year? Yearly professionalism is a half a percent. Got the Congress, Gazabelli, and Fez. Um, I mean, the... It's not really about the trade range. It's just there's not that many places. I mean, I suppose... Is this going into... This does go straight to Gibraltar. Okay. We can send one over there, hopefully. Like, if you have a look at the Gibraltar, there's not that many that lead into there that we know of. There's Barbary Coast, and then Western Mediterranean, Iberia, and Sahara are where this leads to. But I can't uh, send to any of... Well, I, West Mediterranean wouldn't really help us. But, like, um... There's just not that many good options. Um, yeah, I believe it does uh, factor in the stuff here, but it's just there's uh, not, not that many that actually lead in here. Like, the Barbary Coast is one, and then, of course, uh, say Gibraltar, but anything else that leads in here is basically down south or west. Thus, we can't really utilize them. And then, of course, Iberia itself leads to France and Channel, and actually does lead to West Mediterranean as well. Really? I suppose it might. Wait, no, that's... Yeah. It does. Hmm. Oh yeah, there's a line going around here. It's going through all the other arrows going to the opposite direction. Oh, Poland declared war on two zones. How's that going? 
Uh, it's only Poland and Azovia. And there's Teutonic Order and a lot of their vassals, so they might be alright. Now we're still a bit behind in tech right now. We still haven't gotten the commercialization. Is it even close to being? It's 27.7% in Lisbon. Speaking of Lisbon, I did want to invest a little bit in here. Let's have a look at the... Let's actually pause first. Let's have a look at the population. Is there... There's not a lot of urban population available. There's some peasantry, but the problem with the peasantry is that we... Well, I suppose we could invest a tiny bit in farmlands again. Just to get something from there. Actually, I wonder... We have gotten the state reach up a little bit. Mothball the fleet. Oh yeah, that's a good point. At least I'm going to mothball... Let's see here. I'm going to separate enough uh, transport so that I can transport the entire army. But the rest of this can be mothballed. It's just uh, in case we need to transport the army somewhere. Oh, Petra is strict. 2% discipline. What does he have? He's got the well advised and strict. And then we've got the oh misguided warrior on our wife here. Hmm. Plantagenet. Ooh. Well. Hopefully that's not gonna be an issue. We are technically speaking still losing some money. I don't wanna lower the army maintenance right now because there's a lot of big rebellions that are gonna fire soon. Or relatively soon anyway. What I can do though is uh, speed up the game a little bit. I have a feeling that Castile might not actually win this war that they are fighting. And that might be partially because of me. I'll be other rebellions. Um, five and six thousand. So in terms of numbers, we should be fine. If we provoke them, it is gonna get risky. Now we can't provoke them until they reach like fifty percent anyway. Let's have a look at the... well, first let's wait for the autosave. And then we'll have a look at the force limits that we have. I guess um, in about a year or so, there should be some more of the investments again. I actually wonder what sort of uh, communication efficiencies we're going to have in Morocco. We can probably take a look at that as well. A few moments. We are at our land force limit and we're still over our naval force limit. I mean, I suppose that's one way to reduce the cost. Uh, not this one. The other fleet. Remove two of the transports. There we go, now we're making money. Offals are non-existent. Um, it's actually quick communications because it's coastline, for the most part. I mean, somewhere like here is um, moderate communication, which is still better than what we have up here. Which is perplexing, to say the least. I suppose if there's not enough... Um, well, no, there are harbourages in there, but the pathing is a bit terrible over here somewhere. Or some of the northern areas, at least. I said, well, actually, it's Porto, mostly, that has uh, bad pathing. The rest of that is not too bad. Of course, the terrain over here is wooded highlands, forest highlands, wooded highlands and all that, and that has a quite a bad effect on the communications efficiency. Yeah, it's three times the cost, so that probably makes quite a difference. Still waiting for all of that. Now we're making money, I believe. I got the woodston. We're going to make them into ships, probably, later on. Because Castile is now seizing down over here again. Is Castile actually even winning this? Uh, they got minus 12. They lost so many battles, but they do have the naval supremacy. Which, to be fair, doesn't really take all that much. Oh, there's Algerian separatists now. <laughs> Fez is going to collapse. I'm not entirely sure if Castile is going to get anything out of this war. Oh, and even... Uh, Tafelan has some uh, pretender rebels seizing down the capital. I may have caused this, inadvertently. Diplomacy, there we go. Now we're ahead of uh, tech for, well, for the rest of the year. That gives us the better ships, actually. Which, um, let's go ahead and send these into 
portal, or not portal, Lisbon. We're going to upgrade these. It does cost 40 ducats. That's probably going to be alright, though. Although it does mean that the investments next year is probably going to be something like 30 ducats, then. Having a history of the theory that on the south where it was wooded, but most of our cut down for ships and show hardly turn into a suit desert. We have been used desert from the stars, and we kind of like records for that. Uh, fair enough. Yeah, no, like there's a lot of stories around Europe that a lot of uh, forests were cut down for all the ships in like um, 1500s onwards, up until like uh, the time of ironclads. Yeah, there, there's quite a bit of uh, wood in the Armada. England, the Dutch, I'm pretty sure the Portuguese and Spanish try for us as well. Yeah. That was a bit of fringe to a certain degree as well. But like in the Nordics, we just have so much for us that even if you wanted to make a fleet, there's just not enough people to make the uh, fleets. The cruise speed of the trees is faster than the people. Well, at least back in the day. Now it has the plus of lower population by default, so a less need of wooded ships. <laughs> well, I wouldn't say it's cheating. It's a different deck of cards. Uh, let's have a look at what's going on in Europe. Uh, it's, uh, England is not in a war. Have they been fighting... Uh, no, they haven't actually expanded into Ireland yet. Which is odd. I want to see if Florence actually grows at all, or if they're going to just stay uh, as a minor nation. I mean, Florence, the start is going to be kind of difficult, but once you get, like, uh, this sort of region, you can start to snowball quite easily. In terms of Italy, at least. Of course, it's going to be slow because of Italy, and massive development and all that, but, you know, it can be done. Now, how are the Ottomans doing? Oh, they've taken a fair bit from Rome. Are they actually fighting against Rome again? No, they're fighting against Genoa. I see. I haven't expanded much in Anatolia yet, but yeah, they've taken a decent chunk of land from Rome. Oh, um... Which one of these is winning? Uh, technically speaking, Poland is just about winning the war, but I suppose anything can still happen. Like, both sides have uh, seized down a fair chunk of the enemy lands here. The Ottomans did it ally the ones south of them. Um, Fadl? Uh, it's probably easier to go the Diplo map mode. That's war the marriage. That's worn by the Ottomans, okay. Oh, the... Well, that is an interesting choice for an ally. I suppose that's kind of against the Mamluks. The Musk is part of, uh, yeah, they are a division of Mamluks. How much is Cairo in terms of development again? 79. Uh, no wonder that it's so massive, because it starts so massive. Now, I have a feeling that one of the goals for this uh, playthrough is make um, Lisbon at least 100 development. It's going to take a long while, but that's going to be a long-term goal. Uh, so I need to have a claim down here, but I need to get a bit more points. Yes, yeah, need to get 60. I'm going to have the claim there. And just double-checking that that is where we need to take it. Yeah, it is. Also, probably not going to be doing the next war anytime soon, because we kind of need to wait for the Akrexia expansion to kind of wear down. Actually, that's something that I could do about it. Um, send in a diplomat for the outraged countries. That's going to allow us to expand a bit sooner. Now, how are we doing in terms of the force limits? We could actually increase our force limit a little bit, or our army a little bit. Get another cavalry in there, for example. We can only expand south, so it will be kind of slow expansion. Yeah, but technically speaking, we could expand into Tlemcen now that we are bordering them, but they are allied to Tunis, which I reckon is going to be somewhat dangerous. Are you allied to... Oh, you're allied to Mali now, so you don't... Oh. You're no longer even allied to Fez. Is Fez fighting another... Oh, no. 
Okay, so Castile did not get anything in the war. But they may have broken the alliance. By the looks of it. So next year we should be seeing the treasury. Or the... Well, actually, I think what it might be... Let's actually have a look. The total income is uh, 6.2. Realm expenses... Some of that is no doubt the wages and all that sort of stuff. Well, let's actually have a look at that. So it's about three ducats total right now. It might be that every five years it turns the... Like, increases the rental expenses by a portion of your total income. And that's how it does the investment. So it doesn't technically directly take it from your treasury. But not entirely sure. We need to investigate this a little bit further. But technically speaking, now this year the realm expenses should be dropping quite drastically. We won't be seeing that until February, I think, but... That is a possibility. And basically invest this over time. I think it's directly from treasure. I suppose it's a possibility. We'll have a look once we know the realm expenses for this year. If it drops down to like 1.7 again or something like that, then it's probably just increasing the realm expenses. But if it's going to stay as is, then it's probably going to be from Treasury. Hey, he with a courier controller. And, oh, right, golden ball, but there's nothing in there. Uh, this one, we need to increase relations with... Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm not going to do it quite yet, but we can buy the indulgences. That's going to increase our relations with the Pope. At least I think it's going to be. I'm not entirely sure if they uh, changed that or not. They might have. Of course, another option is... Um, actually, no, it's not really an option right now. Right, so what is the... Oh, the realm accessions go went up. Okay, so it's not that one. Hundred relations and buying should be mostly. Yeah, I think so. We got hundred percent, uh, hundred relations with them already. So yeah, we'll do that. Get the mission done. That's going to give us a bit of prestige. Relations with the Pope. The Pope loves us. That's going to help a little bit. Does Aragon and Castile having a good time or not? Doesn't really look like it. No, oh, they're rivals. Or well, at least, uh, still has rivaled them. Well, um... Yeah, that might be a problem. Oh, and we're no longer the career controller. Well, it's a good thing that we spent the money when we did. Maybe not a start until the wedding. Yeah, that's a possibility. I mean... Yeah, I suppose since the Trastamara lost the Civil War. Kind of. I mean, technically speaking, they won the first war, but then I think they just died or something. Well, that's the best uh, kind of uh, theory that we have right now. Oh, um, there might be a rebellion very soon. There's, that's going to be on... Oh, it is actually kind of on this side, isn't it? Okay, so we got the army more or less where we wanted. It's already 90%. Now, uh, we do have a bit of state reach. We might want to increase that if possible. Um, hmm. Direct bureaucracy. Do we still have the... Yeah, we can promote the faction. And lose a bit of stability, but that would give us the influence to do maybe some things. Let's expand the bureaucracy first. Let's specifically seek out to invest in provinces in specific amounts to get back the most from its investment. And so it's just nice to have on to dump some amount of your treasury every handful of years to buy the rest of the devs from the treasury directly. Okay. Good to know. This is going to happen around May again. Right, so I still can't core these. I mean, one of those is inland and then Benny Holzmar is just... Somehow the distance is a bit longer than any of the other coastal provinces here. It's a bit perplexing, but oh well. Is there actually any... Oh right, yeah, we are quite behind in here. 
I think we'd buy here is the tears of the conquered people and colonized places. Pretty much. <laughs>